Join me in southeastern New York as I visit Harriman State Park for the first time, braving chilly overnight temps on top of Stockbridge Mountain. Let's get down into the 20s tonight, so good chance to test out all of my winter gear. Uh, looking forward to a quick night in the woods, and in the morning, Esri has a cross-country invitational nearby, so she took a bus with the team to the motel, and I decided to just uh, camp out in the woods for the night. Hills are just strewn with this rock. Pretty cool. Occurred to me, I have no idea what the hunting regulations are here in New York State, but it's pretty silly of me not to have some kind of orange on when I'm out in the woods, so let's see if I can uh, rectify that. Up from last year's Border Patrol. That'll do. All right, hopefully you can see me coming now. All right, about two o'clock. We got a couple hours of daylight left. Maybe a mile and a half to where we're gonna end up camping. I recommended a good spot by Dirtbag outside. Thanks very much, Joe. Uh, 44 degrees out currently, beautiful day. Even on this short hike, you know, I had some tailwind to my water. Let's get some extra electrolytes, hopefully help with any potential cramping up. Even on these short backpacking trips, sometimes my legs will cramp up, so gotta stay on top of that. less than a mile to go. We'll be climbing the rest of the way up along the ridge to where we're going to camp tonight. Hopefully find a sheltered spot where the wind isn't too crazy, but uh, it's absolutely beautiful. Sun's blinding, but lovely. And uh, time to keep going. I started on the Yellow Blaze Trail and then lost it. But luckily, the trail I was on connected to this it's Teal Blaze, which will then make a big loop with the yellow that I originally peeled off from. So, worked out in the end, but reminder to always keep your eye on blazes. I hadn't seen yellow blazes for a while, so I, I had a feeling I was on the wrong trail, but I held out longer than I wanted to look at the map. I didn't want to believe it. Ooh, getting steep. And this wind is blowing now. Chilly night. <sighs> Dutch wear flea doing yeoman's work here. All right, here's home for the night. I got my zero degree incubator under quilt from hammock gear. Inside I got my 20 degree burrow. Top quilt also from hammock gear. And my down booties back there waiting to be used. It's pretty breezy, but I think I got a nice spot. Pick a good spot, I think, with the hill providing some uh, windbreak. Nice spot, I'm happy with it. I uh, got probably about maybe half hour before sunset. Just gonna go over the rise, and I think hopefully Mother Nature's gonna put on a show. But uh, psyched, all set up for the night. Pretty cozy, I think. I think it'll hopefully keep the wind at bay. I gotta, this wall here is leaning in though. I gotta try to do something to keep it out with those side tie outs, but met a wonderful fellow Mike there at that uh, lean-to. He's got quite the spot. Really nice gentleman, very knowledgeable about the area. There is no hunting here at Hareman, so there you go. Don't need to wear orange. And there's a couple guys over at the very top. It looks like intense, so sundown in about 20 minutes. And maybe I'll go up and cook some food up there and check it out. But we made it, and we're all set up for the night. Hooray. Well, my camp 
Chris or Stowe is not doing too much. I have to switch to my whisper light. I brought both. And if, uh, originally I wanted to try out my whisper light, but I got lazy and just wanted to use the answer. But I'm probably going to need it in the end, so it's a good thing I brought it. But beautiful sunset, and uh, I'm ready to get some chow in me. Oh, yeah, look at this spot. A calm night. It'd be perfect. Much better over here. No wind. That hill it is. That hill's a champ. Keep my wind off me. I don't know what other people are using to hold their windscreens, but mine get pretty sharp and prone to snagging and things. So I, I just, so I just shoved it on this mailing envelope I found just before this trip. Looks great. All right. Finally got something going here. Hot water coming. So in order to guy out the side tarp, I used my last stake, so I'm not gonna close these doors. I guess I could button them and see how well that does, but ultimately, I'd rather have that side so the wind's not blowing on me all night. should help. Well, darkness is coming, the moon's out. I might go see how Mike's doing in a bit just to check out the shelter he's got. Yeah, lovely night. I'm gonna hang out with Mike here in the shelter. He's gonna get a fire going. Uh, that sounds absolutely lovely. There's no wind here in the shelter. I'm pretty fortunate where I hung the hammock. It's doing very well, but still, it's gonna be tough to sleep there after this. But I've never been a shelter guy. This, this though, <laughs> this might change my mind. abandoned this and even felt a little damp when I found it in a corner. Getting cold out. <sighs> These things can come loose from the heat. It's keeping warm tonight. All right, this is very janky, but I think it's going to work. I just found a sharp stick and jammed it into the ground at a diagonal angle and uh, hitched my guy line up to it. Holding pretty well. This ground is pretty soft, good for jamming in. So, find a couple sticks, make do. All right, it's about 7 o'clock and I am snug in my hammock. Quite cozy at the moment. Not too much wind getting down to me behind this hill. Had a nice little time up at the lean-to with Mike and then three students arrived and they were going to cook up dinner there in the fireplace. And there's two more guys heading up right now. I see the head I see headlamps down below coming up. I can hear them. So that'll make nine people total up here. Might be, might be tight quarters at the lean-to. Look at that moon. Wow. Tell you what, 
that moon is bright tonight. Morning. It's uh, almost six o'clock, 18 degrees out. Didn't sleep great. Got probably about four hours of sleep on and off, but I was up since about 1.30 or so. I couldn't fall back asleep. Ended up getting up at four and just making breakfast. Had a big piece of uh, dense holiday bread and some hot coffee. Warmed up a bit, and then I've been just relaxing in the hammock for the last hour. It's been very warm since I got back in it, so I'm quite warm right now. Unfortunately, I gotta pack up soon because I have to get down the mountain so that I can get to the cross country invitational I'm on deadline. So can't uh, dilly dally too much any longer in the hammock. Some pretty awesome rock over on this side of the hill. Uh -huh. Fantastic, the uh, stone hut, barely discernible up there, but just on this, built on this slab. Love it, it's a whole rocky hillside, really cool. All right, it's just past uh, seven o'clock, time to beat feet down, we gotta get to a race. Yeah, this section. Deeper and rockier than what I came up. Ah, here's where I made the blunder. The yellow trail goes that way, but I ended up going up this way yesterday, which ran me a long way along the ridge, and then I doubled back to get up there. But. Worked down the end, and now I made a little loop of it. You gotta pay attention here. Yeah, that yellow blaze, tiny. Now it's starting to warm up. All right, almost back to the car. That was a fine introduction to Hairman. This place is great. It is a lot of rocky, fun little up and down trails that lead to some nice hills. I dig it. Very nice place to come and explore. Cool place to overnight. Yeah, there were a lot of people up there last night. A couple dudes rolled up around 7.30. They hooked in my tarp. They were trying to get to the shelter, so I pointed them up the hill. And then uh, two hours later, they came down. I think they just left. So, yeah, a lot of folks here last night. But uh, I had a good spot. Nice secluded spot to myself. Good night overall, even if I didn't sleep great, because I slept warm at the end of the night. And that's what counts. Well, thanks for watching. As always, I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button and we will see you on the next adventure. All right, let's get to a race. Keep pushing. Ride the down. Doing great, as Home stretch. Kick, as You got someone behind you. Boys Open Northeast Green Racer. Race starts in 10 minutes. Check in right about now.